Welcome to our video about how you can start using dynamic runtime text-to-speech in Unreal Engine 5. Before booting up Unreal Engine 5, once you have downloaded the necessary files, you have to put the files in the Unreal Engine folder called Plugins. After launching UE5, you start out by making a new project. First step is to start a new Blueprint class. Then, make a new actor. Call it a speaker. Double-click the actor, and it will open the Blueprint Editor. Once it's opened, add the TTS Speaker component. Once added, you can see all its settings and parameters in the menu on the right. You can select multiple voices from the drop-down menu if you have them installed. In this same menu, you can then test the TTS voices with your own settings. I sound like this. To set up text-to-speech in your game, we do the following steps in the visual editor. We begin by placing the read speaker in it node, to initialize the TTS system. Then with node number 2 we create the audio component and attach it to the actor. After that with node number 3 we set the audio component of the TTS speaker that we created earlier on in the video. Lastly, node number 4 makes it possible to say something, here's where you input the text for TTS. You can also fill in any SSML you'd like to use as well. We connect all the nodes we just made, back to the begin play starting point. Make sure to hook everything up in the same way. You can customize the components exactly to your liking. The audio attenuation settings, which can normally be used with audio in Unreal Engine, can also be used with our TTS. We can now use it inside of the game. Try it out by initiating begin play to test out our TTS audio at runtime. Hello from inside Unreal Engine 5. We hope you liked this video and found it easy to follow. Let us know your thoughts and any questions you might have in the comments. See you in the next video.